Damasio Page making his way to the world famous octagon. Damasio has a relentless attack, great technical striking, and generates a lot of power in his punches. He's also got a good wrestling base and top flight training partners at Greg Jackson's camp. Damasio Page, fired up and ready to go. Yamamoto set to enter the world famous octagon once again. Kid Yamamoto is an accomplished wrestler with pro kickboxing experience and huge knockout power. He's the K1 Heroes middleweight Grand Prix winner and has an unbelievable four second flying knee KO win over Kazuyuki Miyata. Kid Yamamoto ready to throw down and put on a show. Our Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Tap Out, an expression of combat known worldwide, now available at tapout.com. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. And now, five rounds for the UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. He stands five feet six inches tall. Weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Demacio, the angel of death, Page. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands five feet four inches tall. Weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, Norfumi Kid Yamamoto. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. All right, gentlemen, this is for the championship. You'll be given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. I'm Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. We are set to get things started. Are you ready to fight? Demacio Page. Kid Yamamoto. And here we on, go. Oh, wow. looping hook there. He is teeing off right now. Oh! Oh, big left hook. He shoots. Nice sprawl. Good takedown defense. He caught the leg. He gets a takedown. Pressure. Pressure. He got plenty of time. He ate that one. He pushes him off with the feet. Nice right hand. Mixing things up nicely. Oh, good counter. He caught the kick. Yamamoto is cut open here. And now Page is cut as well. He caught the leg and another takedown. Side control. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. And back to full guard. Great job on the reversal. Side control now. He's got half guard. Moves into full mount here. Postured up. Work that wrist control. Under 90 seconds remains in round one. Oh, he gets reversed. Reversal. Very nice. He's in the guard. Pushing his opponent away. Oh, 
that one. left hook. Followed up by the kick. Nice double leg. Side control. Half guard. He's got the full mount. 30 seconds remains in the round. Oh, he got reversed. Great reversal. He's in the full guard here. Round one complete. I'm not sure what the game plan was in that round. It seems that they were still in the feeling out process. A good mix of stand-up and ground game, but nothing for the highlight reel. Control range, finish with, don't vary from the game plan. Are you paying attention to me? Don't vary from the game plan, all right? So, right? You feel more than that guard. Bring up that combat knee, get yourself, okay? You start working, you start working that knee. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round, Mike. This was well-timed here. Just a beautiful slip and counter. And a punishing counter right here. You can see all it takes is one opening and bang. And here's that lightning-fast takedown. Amazing wrestling technique. Sit down. Nothing, though. Hey, that's close. You don't sit there and judge it, all right? You go out there and just keep fighting hard. Shandella gets us set for round two. Are you ready? We start round two. On, this go. fight's scheduled for five, five-minute rounds. Yamamoto has really opened up, Mike. That is a big cut. Huge uppercut, Joe. Oh, answered by a big body shot. Nice body shot and then hook combination. Oh, nice left and a right. Left hook. Oh, big kick inside. And oh, he answers. Hurt. Wow, that right hand. Sometimes shorter, quicker punches are the way to go. They might not have as much power behind them, but the most important thing is that they land. When a fighter winds up with big bombs, it takes more time for those punches to land. And the shorter, more effective punches are getting there first. Push kick. Oh, big combination. Oh, my. And he's got it. And he's down. Pushes him off with the feet. Oh, he lets him up. Huge left and right. Those are snapping his head back, Mike. He lets him up. Both guys staying in tight. Oh, big right hand. He's down. He's back to his feet, but he's hurt. Oh, those are vicious. Under two minutes remains. Nice counter. Fast hands, good battle inside. 90 seconds remains in the second. Again teeing off. Nice combination. Oh, big shots. Oh, nice, nice knee. knee. One minute remains in round two. Boom. 45 seconds remains. Oh, big left hook. Nice counter left hook right there. Big right hand. Oh, big overhand right. What an exchange here. Joe, this place is going wild. Nice job, double leg. Pushing his opponent away. Two rounds in the books. Three rounds to go in this UFC title fight. Both fighters showing some pretty effective stand-up striking, Joe. Okay. Yeah, they seem to have no interest in going to the ground. With the quick jab, okay, he's got nothing. Don't chase him, use your range. A lot of turns, be sharp with that. When you're throwing your punches and he's catching them, he's out wide, you can come up with the uppercut, okay? So after you throw a couple punches, you gotta come up with that. Let's go to the replay of that round, Mike. This was a beautiful counter, unbelievable timing here. And here was that nasty counter strike, just so perfectly timed. Some good striking in that round, Mike. 
gonna go win this round. You got to fight. You win this round, you got to fight. The beautiful Brittany gets us set for round three. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? And we are set on, for the go. start of round three. This is a championship fight, so it is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Oh, he's hurt! That was Oh, that's big, Joe. He dove right into that. He looked hurt, but he was coming quick. Into full guard here. Side control. Into the guard. Back to side control. Joe, let's see what he chooses to do here. Side control again. That cut on Page is really opened up now. Full guard. He's got side control. Oh! And really raining down some haymakers. Into half guard. He's in guard here. And into side control. And again! He loves throwing that punch. Oh, big right hand! Nice knee to the body. Oh, but he recovers. Got the over under here. And he gets reversed. Posture's up. He's in full guard. Passes the half guard. Transitions to the full mount. Oh, reversal. Moves to half guard. Oh, he got reversed. Moves into half guard here. Oh, he's got the mount. This is not good. Oh, he hits him with a right. He's out. It is all over. Man, he's out, Joe. Vicious. We have a new UFC bantamweight champion. Let's look at it again. Look at all the power he gets in this. And again, and here's the knockout blow. What a great job. Boom, and that's all she wrote. How frustrating is it right now? He has no idea he lost the fight. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer, has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, two seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout. And now, the new UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Norafumi Kid Yamamoto. Kid Yamamoto captures the UFC bantamweight championship.